You too, man. What's going on for all the Clutch Talk community, Clutch Talk people that support us, man? Listen, it's 1 o'clock in the East Coast, about to be 2 o'clock. I wasn't sleeping. I know trade deadline is crazy every single time, so I stayed up. I go look at my phone, Kevin Durant traded to the Phoenix Suns. I call up John. I'm like, yo, we got to get straight to this video, man. But I want to talk about the full trade details. Enough, enough of that. Kevin Durant and Devin Booker and Chris Paul is the new big three in the Western Conference. Um, that's going to be fun to watch. Devin Booker is officially back from his um, injury. Um, Chris Paul is a little bit washed, John, let's be honest. But, I mean, he may he may start turning up now because now Kevin Durant's on the team and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be like the fourth option. So, it's like not too much pressure on him. Before, it's like CP3. If Booker does bad, you put, you know, it's on CP3 now. But now they got Kevin Durant, so there's not pressure on him at all. You know what I'm trying to say? But to be honest with you guys, the Brooklyn Nets got a lot of this trade. So they got four first-round picks and a pick swap. And those four first-round picks are 2023, 25, 27, and 29. But not only did they get all that draft capital, they got a, a young player, Mikhail Bridges, who we talked about in one of our videos that we dropped today. Jay Crowder, who I'm pretty sure is going to get bought out. And then they got Cam Johnson. John, what did I say? I had the same exact trade in the video yesterday. The same exact trade. I said, you can go either way at Aiden or you go McKill, Cam, Jay with four first round picks or just draft capital in general. I called it. Man, my boy, I, I gotta, I do gotta give that to you, my boy. You did call that. You did call that. I do gotta absolutely give that to you. And man, this, this is just a blockbuster of a trade. And 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 I love to see it. I'm not gonna lie because before today, I was thinking like, man, this this, this uh trade deadline is, this year is kind of weak. And then boom, boom, we had K, we had Russell set off. Now we had KD set off. And man, like honestly, I'm 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 I'm, I'm shocked to see it. Uh, but the Phoenix Suns, I just want to real quick talk about the Phoenix Suns. They're looking real good now, man. And, and, and this whole, you know, CP3 is washed. I think that memo or that little headline that's going around is going to start to go away, man, because I agree with you. Look, man, you now got CP3 setting up KD because, yeah, CP3 is not that same score. But we know what he do on the court. We know his court vision. We know his leadership. And now he's, he's going to be able to set up KD on one side, Devin Booker on the other side. And don't and hey, you I know you don't like my boy DeAndre Aiden, but don't sleep on DeAndre Aiden too, man. Hey, the Phoenix Suns are looking real good, man. Really scary. Now for sure. And I mean, adding a superstar player like Kevin Durant is gonna get make it easier for Aiden. So Aiden should look even better, to be honest with you. Absolutely. Chris Paul, Aiden should be dominating. But I see different uh different trades. So I and one thing that I've seen that TJ Warren was part of that trade. Now, if that's the case, because in Shams, I didn't see it for Shams or Wold, but I've seen it in this other thing that TJ Warren was part of that case. Just if that's the case, that's an underrated pickup, John. That's a, a great very pickup. very underrated pickup. Now, TJ Warren started his career, I believe, in Phoenix. And TJ Warren, the, the Phoenix Suns was bad back then when he, he was over there. But TJ Warren can get buckets. Just buckets. for him coming off your bench is going to be excellent. So not that you only just get a superstar player. You got an excellent role player. You didn't trade campaign. You kept Shamit. You got now you're gonna add TJ Warren. You still have Sarge over there. Their bench is going to continue to prove their lineups already. Well, I think they have one of the best lineups in the NBA right now, John. Who is competing with this lineup? CP3, Devin Booker, KD, and Aiton. They can start who it doesn't matter who they start at the four, they're already winning. They already have the best lineup in NBA. That's wild, man. That is so crazy. I honestly cannot believe this happened. Like, I, I, I'm i telling you, my boy, I'm really flabbergasted. And and honestly, that, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say, if TJ Warren really is part of this trade, this is going to be huge, man, because my only knock to this trade towards the Phoenix Suns was going to be, man, they lost Mikael Bridges. Mikael Bridges was huge off the bench for them. And a lot of the times while Devin Booker was out, Mikael Bridges was the guy to step up. He's the Iron Man. I believe, like, he went, like, two seasons with just playing – you know, every single yep. game. And that's a huge player to have off the bench. But now you're getting T.J. Warren. And I know, you know what I'm saying, people, some some, some say it was easier to play in the bubble. I think overall is the hardest championship. But that's, that, 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 that's, that's neither here or there. But do you remember T.J. Warren in the bubble? Do you remember his bubble stats? I, I, I pulled it up just, you know what I'm saying, just in case the, the people didn't remember. 26 points per game, six rebounds, and 2.4 steals. And he coming off the bench. Come on, yep. man. And, and don't forget, Damian Lee's having one of those breakout years on Phoenix. He's a knockdown shooter. 
believe it or not, Tory Craig is shooting very, very well this year. Just one of the, this team is good. And it's crazy because the last 10 games are eight and two currently on a two game win streak. They're playing better. Devin Booker's officially back. Watch out for the Phoenix Suns. But like I said, just wanted to make this short. Let y'all know all the news, man. It's two o'clock over there, soon at least. I think it's 11 over there and 12 or over there yeah. with John. Subscribe, notifications on. Make sure you have them on because tomorrow's going to be another crazy day. Well, technically today, but it's going to be another crazy day with a bunch of trades. We out of here, though. Peace. Peace.